Okay, everyone, time for a new Let's Play. A game that is so close to my heart. <laughs> Came out in 2001, made by Naughty Dog, creators of Crash Bandicoot. I think you can guess what it is. God, games do not get much better than this. Jack and Daxter. The original one, that is. The Precursor Legacy. What a game this is. I've decided to do it. Uh, along with my other ones that I'm still doing, but... Uh, it's such a good game, I need to do it. I need to play for it. New game. I don't even know. Look, I've still got some bloody uh, files. Uh, I'm going to choose that one. Saving data. I'm glad I've got space in my memory card. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. <laughs> hey, uh, Jack, old Green Stuff told us not to come here. They're doing something they shouldn't be doing. Holy crap. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. She has a huge rack. But anyway, uh oh. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stupid precursor junk. Holy crap, that doesn't look Eek! nice. What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. That's what I just said. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? <laughs> now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as Whoa. the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! <laughs> Oh crap. We killed our buddy. What the hell? Damn that scum. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, it's quality stuff right there. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. 
Misty Island. That's right. And then and Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a super equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Oh. Oh. Both into ferns. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. I like Daxter. He's funny. And here we go. We get to move. Right, this game, quickly, 2001, platformer, basically going around collecting stuff like power cells. My analog stick's very sensitive. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. And we got the basic spin attack. You can tell it's made by the same people that made Crash Bandicoot. Um, yeah, basic platformer, you collect stuff. Ooh. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Haha. -ha. Okay, we should collect them then. Get as many as possible. I mean, I think I, I first played this. I got a demo for it, and uh, I just couldn't get enough of it. So I went out, bought it, and never looked back. It is one of my old-time favourites. PS2. Uh, I've not actually really done a game like this before uh, on my YouTube thing. It's usually just RPGs and sort of uh, MGS stuff, but I just fancy giving it a go. Uh, green Eco. Oh. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. Oh, hey, hey, let's get somewhere. Nice. Little victory dance. Okay, when the following outcome appears, your progress is being saved. Okay. So, yeah, it's a bit like Mario, really, if you play like, uh, you know, Mario uh, 64, Super Mario 64, collecting stars, but we're collecting power cells. But this uh, this game is a bit more free roaming than uh, than Mario. It's not just select like stages; it's big areas. Right now, I'm trying to remember. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To right. break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. How do I do that? <laughs> there we go. You found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Oh no. Oh no, we should save them. Come to me, scout flies. 
there's usually seven on each sort of in each area. And if you get all of them, well, I think you get a power cell. And this area, these, this game is so good looking, I think, for its age as well, 2001. And it's also the first game that I remember playing that had the the cycle from day to night time, which blew me away when I first played it. I'm just trying to get used to the controls here. There we go. It's quite a hard game later on as well. Power Sahel. Way, you know, you've got some moves, Daxter. Nice. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? I just look at this place. It's so colourful and it feels alive. I like it. That's Blue Eco, Ooh. which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Well, we better collect it then. Well, run into it. You Spoon. And orbs fly towards us, we smash things. We jump, we smash more things. Ah, right, okay. No! No! Oh dear. Swim back. If you go too far out, you get eaten by a big fish. And that's not good. I can't believe. Ah, L1's roll. And then you jump like that. It's all coming back to me. We've got some orbs down there. I didn't know they were there. I'll get those. Now, I don't... I can't really remember when the first time I played this was. Or the last time, sorry. So, I'm not going to be very good at it. I can't remember where half the power cells are. Probably not even a third of them. So, I'm sorry if I fail a lot. But it's such a good game, I need to play it again. I'm going in it quite fresh. I will remember quite a few things, but probably not all of them. This oh. is a precursor door. Aha, it yes. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue ego through your body. Well, that's fair enough. We still got some, still got some, and it opens. Let's go get these orbs. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Nice. Well, you, I think you've guessed this is a tutorial. I don't even need this blue eco, but I'm going to grab it. Because we run fast. Oh, and another power cell. Three in one video. Look at that. Yeah. Good work. The blue eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. That's cool to know. How do we look around? Aha. Aha, right, okay. Now, is there any orbs in the water? Is that really oh, nice no. Yeah, dive down like that. Anything around here? No. That's fair enough. Right, where are we supposed to go now? I love the sound bouncing on those platforms. And... Yeah! Look, well, it's uh, getting towards the evening. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green Ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. Jolly good. Jolly good. Oh, yeah, we got some orbs. Some orbage. Now, um... I may be missing quite a few orbs, once, but... Then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Oh, we got all of them. 50 out of 50. Yes, yeah, so we got a double jump there. You can't beat a good platform with a decent double jump. And there's a power cell. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That is weird. 
Right. So we got a platform there, but oh we no! Need to charge this platform up. Yeah, Daxter, you said it, buddy. Let's grab that. And there we go. That's the first area done. So, oh no, jump off. <laughs> and we can teleport back. Green Sage's hut. Smooth. Real smooth. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie. You ahead. said it, buddy. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Okay, chill your beans, man. Cool your beans. Look at that plant. That reminds me of, uh... Well, those kind of plants are seen in every bloody game, aren't they? Crash Bandicoot, Mario... Um, we could talk to him. Some brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco harvesters. Sorry. They're on the far side. Yeah, of yeah, the we forest. know. No. Get moving. <laughs> All right then. Well, I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, first video of this LP. Hopefully, it's a successful one. But uh, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.